Hey everybody, so I just wanted to give my retrospective on the recent hard fork update and um, just kind of give my comments and, and from the source, so to speak. So, um, you know, when we first started up the blockchain, a lot of people were enthusiastic about the mining and um, what wind up taking a little while longer was getting the first exchange listings and stuff like that. So <clears throat> a lot of people started to turn off their mining, but more so when that happened, um, we actually gained a lot more interest in from the general community and so uh, some clever person has been um, using this uh, part so when you have a difficulty that difficulty rating um, it's adjusting based on a window of time and um, that's kind of the ironic thing like even in Bitcoin basically every single blockchain they're counting blocks and also using the timestamp provided by users um, and it's computed in order to kind of determine how much time passed. So it's not exactly reliable and it's open for, let's say, manipulation in order to uh, gain some kind of competitive advantage in the process of mining. So that was happening to us because our mining rate <clears throat> became much smaller. And so it became more open to this kind of um, manipulation and... Um, and uh, success of that manipulation for the person who's doing that. Um, that being said, there were two, two options. Either get a significant amount of hashing power <clears throat> that would exceed, that would be at least um, like 40, 50% of what the attacks were being done with, which was around like 12 mega hash, something like this. So we would need to quickly get like five stable mega hashes of, um, of of uh, network power in order to kind of thwart off these kind of um these kind of inconsistencies and you know exploitation of this uh of the design of the difficulty recalculator so um it happened before on a not so big scale like now actually it happened uh, three times but the scale was um kind of not even close not even uh, remotely close to what the last um the last uh let's say exploit attempt was so um but knowing about it we anticipated it and what we winded up doing um myself and another community member we winded up mining uh several blocks uh out of pretty cost a lot of money to do that but the point is um when the hash rate was up at 112 mega hashes we started mining uh, just to win those blocks just to kind of um throw a wrench in the in the rotor blade to keep it from spinning further. And um, that winded up triggering a, uh, a bug in the code. Basically, if um, this kind of fork happened where uh, someone was on a big chain, plus a token transaction was within the, those, um, the original chain, then it triggered a bug where the original chain didn't want to delete those token transactions and then join the other chain so it wind up blocking that person so bas basically that person who's um playing the games they don't include transactions so they would never trigger this on themselves but because we started mining aggressively and included the transactions including some token transactions then when they dropped their chain onto our chain well like onto the community's chain they dropped their private chain into ours uh, it had an, a mismatch because our nodes, if you didn't restart right away, they would just halt and say, well, like, I don't really want to do that because it has transactions that, you know, I already included and I don't want to, I can't delete them because that code was not, um, it was not there to do that for you. So um, either way, we needed to do a hard fork. So basically what we've done is we've adopted a strategy where that window where it used to be like this big is now this big. So you could only try to exploit over here. But the other thing is that difficulty rises much faster. So as you're trying to exploit, you'll start getting blocked on your own. So then the difficulty, so like the risks still exist, like with any coin is if someone comes in with a hundred, you'd need like 200 times the hashing power because even that, uh, cause what am I thinking about is <clears throat> Even if we had a stable one mega hash, eventually the next block would be found and we wouldn't have like 
uh, five days of uh, stalled blockchain. At the most is a function of how much hash power was thrown at the network and then the inability to thoroughly exploit for personal gain. So that's that. The thing that I'm most impressed about is our ability to respond to the to the situation. We had been already working on on um, this update and uh, our plans were because it's the Orthodox Christmas, which is today. Today is uh, Orthodox Christmas, so Merry Christmas if you're celebrating on an um, Orthodox calendar. But basically, um, the, the our ability to kind of respond, we had... Uh, Marco and Stefan were in the were in the uh, in the office on the third and the fourth, even though we were shut down basically for the Serbian holidays. Um, so I commend them for doing that. And uh, we've been and plus the fact that we had a like ten days in advance, we were already testing these um, modifications, and uh, we were planning to release them after the the uh, holidays. So. I'm just really glad that that um we were able to pull through and get that out more more quickly than later. And then this is a follow-up to um let's say about a month and a half ago I had said uh please give me 6 weeks in order to um to deal with this. And um so there were a couple things that came up in between which was one of them the McAfee miner which um put Safex mining on the radar for a lot of people. Um although it did come in on the holiday so i'm not sure you know everyone who would see it or had seen it were going to take action right away so i really do um hope that this update um becomes more inclusive and people feel comfortable mining again because you will be getting the rewards as usual from the um the mining process and then the the uh, fact of creating a mining farm so that is still underway and that's something that we need definitely so like in the beginning we were very enthusiastic about mining and there's several people with their own graphic cards and stuff like that however we became quite dependent on nice hash and as you know with nice hash your contract expires someone outbids you and stuff like that what we actually need is a situation where we can mine 24 7 on a decently large scale and not turn it off just because a price went down or just because difficulty has shot up. We need difficulty to shot up, uh, to shoot up, and that's because the more people who are mining, the more secure our network is from malicious attackers. So over time, we'll need to continue to build up our mining resources. So we do have some, I do have a very thorough plan that right now I'm in London and I'm on my way to America in order to uh, communicate these uh, issues with the people who can help us. So, um, yeah, in, in order, we need basically uh, a few facilities in the world with a few mega hashes each in order to just be kind of on a stable baseline um, in order to have a network that can be used and attract more people to participate. And I'm talking about participate in mining. <laughs> if no one is mining, no one will continue to mine. But if there are people out there who are already doing it, then it'll be more natural for people to join that group. So, yeah, that's that. So um, everything is great now, um, and it will be for the for the coming future. And this update, we will only need to look back on it when um, when mining becomes like very big, uh, because the adjustments might be too sensitive. Because imagine someone has ten mega hash and they turn it on. And then they want to do some modifications to their to their farm, and it shuts off for for you know a day, and that will cause already you know those stalls that lag so in order to have more smooth block creation, like right now, we will have like a three minute block and then a one minute block, and then a thirty second block and then a four minute block. you see. Over time, it'll reach two minutes, but it won't be so smooth like two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Uh, when we have the normal difficulty recalculation window, it's more smooth, two minutes, two minutes, two, yeah. So, but that's okay, because um, uh, over time, it's it's the same. Over time, it's consistent. The only thing, it'll be a little bit more, um, like, 
I, I think it's insignificant. It's not like you'll have, it's not like you extend the length of blocks. It's just periodically you'll have, you know, someone turned on their mining and then someone else turned it off and it just happens every day. So that being said, um, yeah, you can now safely turn back on your miners and enjoy that. Thanks, guys. Bye.